In this video, we'll determine the molecular geometry for F2. This is fluorine gas. The first thing we need to do is look at the Lewis structure. So here's the Lewis structure for F2. We see this bond here. This is a pair of shared electrons. That's what bonds it together. And we have these unbonded electrons out here around each F atom. Because there are only two atoms, the only molecular geometry we can have is just going to be a straight line. It's going to be linear. And the bond angle is going to be 180 degrees. So for F2, the molecular geometry or shape, that's going to be linear bond angle of 180 degrees. Let's take a look at that, though. So if we consider this to be a fluorine atom, let's add another fluorine atom to it. And so now we have our two fluorine atoms, and we can imagine the electrons, these lone pairs around here. There are only two things, so the only thing we can have, the only molecular geometry that we can have, is going to be linear. Same for the electron geometry. We'll have our electrons here. This is a linear molecule, though, so the electron geometry, that's linear as well. Often we'll have more than two atoms, and that makes it a little bit more challenging. This table can be helpful, though. So the table is organized by steric number. We have a central atom, and we count the things around it. One, two, three, one, two, three. Based on that, the steric number, and the number of lone pairs, we can figure out the molecular geometry. There's a link in the description to a video that can help you learn how to do that. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.